As today we're going to do um, the simplification of of expressions. So now we're gonna do um, October November twenty eighteen question number one. So here is our question November twenty eighteen question number one. So you have to simplify this expression. So now the thing is when you're simplifying expression. Uh, first thing you need to clear the brackets so let's clear uh, brackets let's clear brackets okay so how do we clear the brackets we multiply the variables that are inside the bracket using the outside variable so we multiply separately for instance here it means this outside x gonna have to multiply this x and the same x will have to multiply negative 2 so now you come and say x times x you get x squared x times negative 2 you get negative 2x and then when it comes to this bracket outside the bracket we have two variables we have negative 2 we also have x so it means all of these variables should multiply what is inside the bracket, but separately. So we can still put a bracket like this and say minus 2 times 1, you'll get negative 2. And then you'll say minus 2 times negative x squared, you'll get positive 2x squared. You close the bracket x minus x okay um why did i put the bracket here it is because we still have to multiply with this x okay so now this one will remain the same so it's going to be x squared minus 2x and then i'll say this outside x times negative 2 will give me negative 2x so this x times negative 2 is negative 2x and then this same x times positive 2x to the power of 2 is going to give you positive 2x to the power of 3. If you multiply this x with 2x to the power of 2, it will give you this one. Okay, minus 4x. And then, after clearing the brackets, what do you do? Secondly, first step, secondly, you group like terms group like terms like terms okay so let's group the like terms now i'm gonna say x squared minus 2x okay minus 2x so 2x and 2x are like terms because they all possess x value minus 4x as well is the like term plus 2x cubed Okay, so let's simplify the like terms. So it's going to be x squared. It doesn't have a like term. So whenever you are subtracting or ad adding the, the, the like terms, remember to just focus on the number. The x value will remain the same. So you just have to say minus 2 minus 2 minus 4. It will give you minus 8x plus what? plus 2x to the power of 3 so what's going to be your answer okay you can write them in the numerical order you can say it's 2x to the power of 3 plus x squared minus 8x okay this is the answer thank you uh which is option number um, which is option number okay option number one as a matter of fact it's question two not question one it's question two let's move to um may june 2018 first paper okay uh question number two so we're going to simplify this expression so how do we simplify this expression so remember first thing first we clear the bracket ok 
okay i'm not gonna write clearing the brackets because you know you can still follow these steps okay and then first thing first we clear the bracket so now this a will multiply three separate things inside the bracket so all of these variables inside will be multiplied by a separately okay and then this bracket is going to be multiplied by these two terms out of the bracket okay let's start with the first bracket a times 2a squared is gonna be 2a to the power of 3 remember this a it is invisible one here so when you multiply the a's since they are like terms you just add their exponents so it will give you a3 and then a times a so this a is invisible one here. so since a and a are like terms you only add the exponent so it's gonna be negative a squared okay a times negative 4 is gonna be negative 4a so let's come here first of all we're gonna multiply using this negative a so we'll open the bracket and say negative a times a will give you negative a squared and i'll say negative a times po uh, negative 3 will give you a positive 3a close bracket 2a so this time around we have to multiply with 2a so these ones will remain the same so it's going to be 2a3 minus a squared minus 4a and then let's multiply 2a times negative a squared so remember here there is invisible one so this one will add this exponent 2 so it's going to be negative 2a to the power of 3 2a times positive 3a is going to be positive 6a squared this a you add 1 and 1 it's going to be 6 and then after clearing the brackets what must we do we group the like terms so let's group the like terms so we'll start with the first which is 2a to the power of 3 what is the like term any number that is a to the power of 3 is the like term of this one so we have a negative 2a to the power of 3 what follows here is negative a squared any number that has a squared is the like term of a squared so we have plus 6a squared and then this one it doesn't have a like term so it's going to remain the same at um um minus 4a minus 4a doesn't have a like term okay so let's simplify the like terms so remember when you are adding or subtracting the like terms what must you do the like term remain the same you only focus on the number so if you say 2 minus 2 is 0 a 3 minus a 3 is also 0 so these two they will give us 0 so let's come here uh, remember here there is a there is no number so there is invisible one so let's focus on the numbers again since they are like terms so we'll say minus 1 plus 6 will give you 5 so you will say it's 5 what a squared remember the like term doesn't change it's only numbers which we should focus on and then this one doesn't have a like term remains the same so this will be your answer okay that's how we do it which is option number option number two option number two this one okay now let's move to question number one may june 2018 second paper okay so we're gonna do this uh we're gonna simplify this expression so let's simplify it here so remember first thing first we clear the bracket by multiplying with the outside term so i'm gonna take you we'll take this 2y squared multiply x okay and then 2y squared again will multiply negative y and then here negative 
8x will multiply y squared and negative 8x will multiply negative 1. So let's multiply and see. Okay, 2y squared times x is going to give us 2xy squared. And then 2y squared times negative 1 is going to give us negative 2y squared. Okay, negative 8x times y squared will give us negative 8xy squared. Negative 8x times negative 1 will give us positive 8x. Okay. So this is how we do them. And then after clearing the brackets, what next? We group the like terms. So let's group the like terms. We have 2xy squared. So any number that has xy squared is the like term of 2xy squared. And we have negative 8xy squared. So let's take it and bring it here. It's going to be negative 8xy squared. And then the rest, they don't have like terms. So you're going to write this one. Minus 2y squared plus 8x. This ones they don't have like terms. So let's simplify the like terms. So this and this are like terms. And then when we subtract or add like terms, we mainly focus on the numbers. The like term x, y squared will remain the same. So let's say 2 minus 8. We're going to get negative 6. So x, y squared will remain the same. And then this one will also remain the same, 2y squared. This one will remain the same because it doesn't have a like term. So this is going to be your answer which is option number minus six minus two plus eight minus six minus two plus eight i think it's going to be option number number two thank you